Elon Musk's flying car. What happens if you combine a man who can construct electric vehicles with a man who can construct rockets? What happens if you call both of these men Elon Musk? You receive an electric vehicle with flight capabilities. The CEO of Tesla and SpaceX isn't betting on flying cars to change how we travel in the future. Elon Musk is a proponent of innovative technology, so his position on flying cars seems contradictory, especially given that his idea for alleviating traffic congestion is even wilder. Science fiction has long explored the possibility of flying cars in the future. Because of this, numerous businesses are working diligently to make it a reality. Airbus, a major player in the aerospace industry, appears to be leading this field and plans to have autonomous flying cars on the road and in the air by the end of the year. With the secretive business Z Aero, Google co-founder Larry Page is also developing his own flying vehicle. And I just don't find that very interesting. Oh, we should be building great things that don't exist. Even the idea of automobile drones is being researched. Using vertical takeoff and landing VTOL technology, even Uber wants its own fleet of flying cars, and they already have plans that contain the necessary infrastructure to make it happen. Through Tesla and SpaceX, Elon Musk has paved the way for global transition to electric automobiles. He must be interested in flying automobiles, the halfway point since the Model X is already an electric vehicle with gull wings. It has been a focus of a lot of speculative discussions, especially in Silicon Valley, which seems fixated on virtual takeoff vehicles and urban air mobility as the upcoming technological breakthroughs. But so far, Musk's signals have been at best ambiguous. Musk once told Bloomberg's Max Shafkin, Obviously, I like flying things, but it's challenging to envision the flying automobile developing into a scalable solution. However, Musk has been careful to emphasize that the revised Tesla Roadster would be able to fly even if only momentarily thanks to additional thrusters made possible by SpaceX technology. Some observers believe Musk is being evasive on purpose. Thrusters on the Roadster are only one illustration of how Tesla and SpaceX may share expertise and information regarding electric vehicles and battery storage. In yet another instance of Elon Musk defying the laws of physics, the eccentric billionaire recently asserted that the upcoming Tesla Roadster will be capable of taking to the skies. Musk informed them that he was being really serious while most others felt he was just being a typical flippant self on Twitter. According to him, the forthcoming Tesla Roadster's limited edition model would have a SpaceX option package that includes not one but ten rocket thrusters positioned flawlessly around the car. Musk even said the variant with rocket thrusters will accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in about 1.1 seconds. Naturally, this raised questions about how safe such a project would be. In answer to a question, Musk responded immediately and reassuringly, as comforting as Elon Musk can be on Twitter, yes, with the SpaceX rocket thruster option package. It will be intense but safe. Similar to a hardcore roller coaster, perhaps not a good idea for individuals with a medical condition one could essentially accelerate at the limit of human endurance, according to Musk. It turns out to be a flying roller coaster. Musk added that this will actually be able to fly very short on Twitter. Flying cars have always made me chuckle, so the fact that one is now being built is ironic. Musk has previously teased us with the idea back in 2019. This isn't the first time he's made such a claim. The Roadster will feature a SpaceX cold gas thruster system with ultra-high pressure air in a composite overwrap pressure vessel in place of the two rear seats. Musk confirmed casually in response to Marky e. Brownlee's uh, shape, so it's like it's, it, it doesn't end in like a bluff right? because it creates a low pressure zone behind the expression of disbelief like most flying automobiles, I guess. The Roadster, scheduled to debut in 2022, is the replacement for the vehicle that established the Tesla nameplate. One of the first production electric vehicles, EVs, to demonstrate the lithium ion batteries might be extremely fast was the original Roadster. The next model would have greater outright acceleration that the original Roadster and every other Tesla, including the planned tri-motor Model S. The SpaceX version would be more expensive than any Tesla with a price tag of RS 2.6, see roar taxes excluded. If they've come out with a new like graphics card or, or, or CPU, it's like initially it's, it's expensive. Um, and so 
Despite all these developments, Musk is adamant that flying cars won't reduce ground traffic, and he might have a good point. They won't be automobiles in the purest sense, especially as many flying car models chose VTOL variations. In addition, several models still under development require a runway-like area for takeoff. Musk believes that Silicon Valley's preoccupation with flying cars will be bad for urban transportation. He went on to say that flying cars would require a lot of downward force to maintain flight for people on the ground, that equates to a lot of noise and wind. Additionally, there's a chance that debris will fall in the event of mid-air collisions. He warned that if someone didn't keep up with their flying vehicle, it might lose a hubcap and guillotine. Things that weigh a lot buzzing about in your thoughts won't make your anxiety level go down.